Ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Jeffrey Lazarus, and you are watching Let's Play Dark Souls, and welcome to the finale. So as you can see, I've gone through, I've used all my soul consumables, I used one boss soul, the soul of Gwendolyn, so that I could reach level 69, and there you can see my stats, 31 vitality, 31 endurance, 30 dexterity, so on and so forth. And now, we're going to make our way to the final boss. Also, I need to re-equip my stuff, because I cleaned out my hotbar to do that. So let's find our... We're going to want our Estus Flask. We're going to want our Humanity. And then we're going to swap this out for... The Hornet Ring. And we're going to head back down to where we placed the Lord Vessel. <clears throat> Pardon me there. Lord Vessel. Now once we get down here, we'll be able to dump in the four Lord Souls that we picked up and access the final area of the game. So here we are, Firelink Altar, we'll rest the Lord Vessel, offer souls to it. And welcome to Dark Souls Endgame. This is the Kiln of the First Flame. Name should be popping up here shortly. We can see the ghosts of uh, the Silver Knights and Black Knights walking by. Now, the Kiln of the First Flame for an endgame area looks very, very impressive. But it's not all that difficult to get through. I'm going to try and make it to the boss without burning through my Estus Flasks. I may actually need them for the fight against him. So here you see we have a Black Knight to contend with. And there will be five total Black Knights on our way through the kiln. And I'm doing enough damage to be able to deal with them fairly effectively. Also, this one drops Titanite chunks. Now, these Black Knights will all drop different varieties, tit different varieties of Titanite every time you kill them. They also have a small chance of dropping their weapons and shields. So, if you need to farm for that stuff, or you want to farm for upgrade materials before you move on to New Game Plus, this is the place to do it. See, this one is actually wielding the Great Sword that makes him, and every variety of Black Knight is here as well. Great Sword, uh, Halberd, Axe, and the regular Black Knights with the regular swords. And I say they drop this stuff every single time. Now, up here is where this next little part's where things get tricky. You can actually see the Black Knight off in the distance there, and he's standing on a very, very narrow walkway. Now, hopefully, we'll be able to parry him and just throw his ass off the ledge and call it a day. Also, I just, I love the effect here of, like, you can see where things were, like, burned into place when the first flame was lit. And you can see he's going to aggro us before we even get all the way over there. But that's okay, because this is a better spot to fight him at. Oh, and I kicked him off the ledge. Okay, this is going exceptionally well. Now, I want to come over here to the right, because there is the Black Knight armor set over here. So there, we've gotten our hands on the Black Knight armor set. If you want to look like a Black Knight, well, you got to wait till now to do it, but 
for New Game Plus. If you want to play as a Black Knight, there you go. Now, we are actually very, very close to the boss, and this will hopefully be a successful first attempt. I haven't had to use an Estus yet. So next up, we're going to head down these stairs, and we're going to see... You can actually see the fog wall from here. But here we're going to have an axe-wielding Black Knight. We haven't encountered many, many, if any, of these guys. And we'll fight them just like we fight the normal Black Knights. Backstabs are highly, highly effective. Parries are as well, but I don't know the timing on this guy well enough to attempt it, so I'm not even going to bother, because undoubtedly it would probably get me killed. You see, he drops some white Titanite, and then we have one more Black Knight between us and our final bot final battle. Our final bottle. And this one is wielding the Black Knight Halberd. Once again, same thing. Just take your time, get your backstabs in. Fairly easily avoid their attacks. And he drops blue Titanite chunks. And now... We have reached the end game. And before we go in here, we're going to be doing a little bit of swapping here. I need, I don't need, but I want my fire winged spear. Our final boss, Lord Gwyn, is weak to fire. Also, let me toggle my status here. I just want to see, I have zero poise. Um. Okay, so I would like to get some poise while still staying below 40. Still staying below 40 uh, equipment load. Now that will give us 56 poise. I don't know if that's enough to avoid a po uh, bleh, poise break. Also, um, let's check our shield here. Stability is 55. Unfortunately, gargoyle shield's 56. Sunlight shield's eh, slightly better. 58. Hmm. Let's go ahead and use that shield. Unfortunately, uh, typically by this point in time, I'll usually have a a Black Knight shield or a Silver Knight shield. Did not get lucky enough to get one on this playthrough. That's quite all right. So, let's go ahead and challenge final boss. I'm a little worried about how this will go. Hopefully, we won't have a death montage here, and I'll be able to drop him the first time, but we'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Gwyn, the Lord of Cinder. We're going to start with our shield up and wait for him to come in and do his first attack. Oh, boy. And we just want to parry and repost this guy. Heal up. Oh, God! Dodge the grab attack. Parry, repost. Say, that's the only thing we really have to worry about is that grab attack. Everything else can be parried. And the repost with a fire spear with the hornet ring. Oh boy. Actually just ate a bunch of damage there. There we go. You can see we're knocking off big chunks of health with every hit. There we go. There's the final parry. And that's Gwyn, Lord of Cinder, dead. Yeah, he's not the most powerful final boss ever. He's also a shadow of his former self. And now, we have a choice to make. And the game's not going to explicitly tell you we have a choice, but we have a choice. We can either light this bonfire, rekindle the first flame, and what that will do is basically we are sacrificing ourselves to keep the Age of Fire going, which is what Kingseeker framped desperately wants. Alternatively, we leave. We leave, we usher in the Age of Dark, the Age of Man, which is what Darkstalker Koth wants. 
both of the serpents are probably telling some truths and probably lying. But for me, I've always felt like walking away and letting the Age of Fire die, as should be the natural progression of the world, is what we should do. And so that is exactly what we're going to do. And ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for our first ever full Let's Play of any game, but in this case it was Dark Souls, and I want to thank everybody out there for watching. If you've stuck with me this long, I definitely want to thank you. I also want to thank everybody you're seeing here on screen in the credits. These are the guys who made the game, obviously, and they managed to put together my favorite game of the Xbox 360 PS3 generation in this particular title and just a big thank you to them a big thank you to everybody that watched and out of respect for these gentlemen I'm going to shut up now I'm going to let their lovely music and their credits continue to scroll and I will see you guys in the next one